so good at just like tricking you and like F tilting you and then just like jumping and like empty hopping and F tilting and doing the fair. She's so good at like reading uh, DI. And yeah, like, yeah. Doing that whole chic game. One stuff. thing I like about Bonfire uh, game a lot is that she's really good at just using Sheik's best strengths at all times. Like everything that Sheik's good at, she's. Yeah, exactly. I, she, she's like the prototypical sheep. But at the same time, too, that means she struggles a lot with stuff like ice climbers. Like, yeah, yeah, her yeah. set was pretty good at work, but mom's was really not uh, pretty at all. Yeah. Like, she really struggled. And uh, I'm trying to, like, separate and kill them. She oftentimes literally just had to leave the camera. Like, yeah, coaching would literally end up, like, her game. Yep. And this is what happens when you against, like, go against them too far. It's like, yeah, see, it's, it's so much harder because yeah. against Fox and Fox Girl, as great as they are, they're very volatile, especially in doubles. Where, like, and, like, you can give Fox and Fox Girl like, relatively easy to play out fast But like this, like, you can't give Peach. And you can't, yeah. can't, you can't give Sheik, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they can give you, like, no problem. So it's gonna be interesting. I mean, they've been they've been on. See, like, kind of similar to what they, the problem was their first set is like that they, they even up the, the stock count, but they're taking 20% like yeah, trying exactly. to catch up. Like, to, like, they're both so good. Like, I feel like uh, like I mentioned this earlier, but I feel like Artie and Bob are even better at like alley between each other and just like uh, doing that whole like you know, uh, Artie would go against like Pro and play the Peach, and then like show like. Bonfire will fair again and then she'll like immediately switch off and do like a yep. fancy fair. I feel like they're both really good at playing off of each other's strengths. Yeah, I agree too. But it also brings up the thing, because I'm pretty sure Bonfire and uh, Artie are really good friends. They've known each other for a while. Yeah, so, and like, again, same thing with Synergy, where like you have the twins. They, they, you, I, I feel like that was huge in their first set. Yeah, that, yeah, that definitely played a role in the first uh, game. That, like, that synergy of just knowing where your partner uh, will be and, like, trying to get into their position is, like, uh, really big in teams. And I feel like that's very, uh, very underrated part of teams. Oh! That's did what, you, yeah. did you see that? Yeah! Did you? I didn't see that. I he didn't, but he, he tried side being and he didn't even move. Oh, he was, he was like, like it's like thing? when you, uh, moonwalk. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I know what the invisible scene which is. I just didn't see him. Like, oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> what is he? You probably see, almost seen some person fall to the platform and like this. Um, one yeah, thing. This is also, like, that position right there where he was, like, sheep on the left and then, like, Luigi and then Peach and then Ganon. And that's order. That's so hard for Red Team to break through because, like, there's so many aerials that they both have to avoid when trying to get in from both Peach and Sheep. And yeah. it's just, like, it's insane trying to get back from that position. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, 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 that's totally fine. It's, um, one thing I did want to mention is how great Peach is in teams. I think Peach is one of the best teams characters. So, it's so, especially when you play against a team, it's, it's one thing to watch, but when you play against a team, it's just like, wow. <laughs> That's, it's good. It's, it's a surprise too, because you think she is really good. Uh, oh, that was just a combo. Yeah, that was, that cool. was very nice. Yeah, that, 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 that's the whole, like, thing we were talking about, like, you know, when you back to the saw that without position. It's the read. Yeah. I will say, Crow and Kaiju, for as limited as their characters are, especially in doubles, they're very good. Like at exploiting, like they're not, like they know what works and they know what doesn't work. So, and they're very good at using what they know is good. I also feel like another thing too is what's good with Bonfire and Artie is that Bonfire and Artie seem to have like these agreed upon ways to cover an edge guard because it seems like Bonfire almost always covers ledge. Yeah. Artie almost always goes out and like uses her. Yeah. 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 It's to just uh, edge Because like when you look like. No, I guarantee you that like, Bonfire is probably going to go with that and like Artie is going to go and like, cover with that. Uh, like, 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 it seems as though they have, like, they've talked beforehand and they know what to do. Exactly, yeah. exactly. This is a really close game one. Yeah. And that's, that's all yeah, Bonfire that was, is with that was a really great DI. DI. I honestly think that was really bad DI because like, she was like, Whoa, okay. And now okay. we got a 1v1 situation. Oh, the misfire is no way. way. The misfire no way. is This is, this is actually three. really close. Uh, and it's over. <laughs> Bonfire clutched it out, yeah. That's that just comes down to that 1v1. Bonfire is so good at pretty much every matchup she plays, so. But that was that was a fun, that was a fun game. One right there. Yeah. That was because like you had that whole like uh like cluster of just people going in and Luigi just up smash. And like she, she grabbed her, but before like she could like grab her, she uh, like Luigi KO both Ganon and Peach. 
It's like you had that whole cluster, and then you just like bonfire's like, oh yeah, I grabbed, 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 and then you just down, and then she just down through up there. So I don't know how I feel about the Yoshi's pick because they were really good on the bigger stages. Um, and like again, I mean this works out for Ganon really well. I don't know, I feel like I don't know enough about the Wii Beta to comment on that, but I think what happened was that like uh Pro and Kaiju were discussing and they realized that like a lot of the times you need to interrupt their combo, so they probably thought like you need to go to a stage to which is weak at, so they probably decided even though you might give Bonfire some leverage, uh to be nerfing people. Enough. Because uh, a lot of like I've been talked uh, like infinite numbers has said like like whenever he used to team back when he played ice climbers that like a lot of the times it's better to just like when he would play against like uh, other good matches like Mafia and like, all that you would literally like say that killing Mafia teams isn't worth it that you should just kill your uh, their teammate like, like eight times or like, just kill Mafia once because trying to kill Mafia like four times is like ridiculous yeah so it, what they, I think what they tried to figure out was just like let's go as Stage that like nerfs speed, but at the same time too allows us to kill uh, bonfire early, so yeah. that you know bonfire can share stuff. So you have to take less Peach stocks because Peach seems to be the big problem like high and kind of throw face. Yeah, that was yeah. With the yeah, I agree with that. But and, like especially with the stage, like Peach should die at 60 and stuff like that, as opposed to 160. So yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's smart. But at the same time, like I. W Felt like I, if I were them, I would have gambled and kind of taken it to Jimmy. Because I, I mean, that stage really favors Peach and what Peach does. That was sick. That was very nice. I'm but yeah, no, you, what you're saying is working. I mean, they are neutralizing the Peach and what they're doing. And like, not only that, like, they're letting Bonfire do whatever she wants. But neutralizing the Peach, Yo, she has to. So good. Yeah, now she has to share the stocks and stuff like that. But again, like you were saying earlier, they're taking too much percent. Though, is that a spike? That was like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah but there's Peach. Like like I said earlier, Peach has that, like, full cancel fair, and that's really hurting. Because like, they don't have a quick answer to full cancel fair. Because, like, literally the fastest aerial game it has is, like, up air, and that's, like, at frame 13 when the frame hitbox comes out. And then, like, Luigi has an air, but he doesn't have enough range to beat up fair. So they both struggle against that, like, floating like, fair option. Yeah. They can't really, like, Spot it out. So they really, I feel like they're both looking at it and just like, how can we like stop that? Like, that was that was really that was good. Really and good. And now it's a two v one. Okay, not impossible for Bonfire, but not easy by any stretch of the mean. This is a definitely. So you don't want to kill your partner. You definitely don't want to do that. Believe <laughs> me, I've I've lost double matches. Yet. Right. Oh my god, that was so good. That double poof. That that yeah. that, that was actually really insane. Oh, oh the shot! No! I got no! Guy. No! Yeah, like again, like I was saying earlier, uh, the down down throw doesn't lead to anything with like the Luigi as his partner. Ooh, that, okay. Now it's a one v one. This is so doable. Oh, I think that's it. Oh my god. Oh, Randall! Oh, that's it. That's huge. Yeah, bonfire bringing it back. Good shit to her. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the two v one. The two v one. Yeah. Like that was so. That was like again. Like that brings up the example at low percent. What does Ganon and Luigi do? Exactly. Exactly. And not, it doesn't help when the Ganon's at like. Nair? Exactly. Like, yeah. But even, but at like mid percent, Snare don't lead to anything. She'll just like. Do, they run it back. Yeah. They're running it back. I don't know. I they still... were definitely close. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, I don't know. It was both of the games have been close. Obviously, last stock, yeah. last hit. But uh, the worst thing for me is that. Well, not the worst thing. The thing that I don't, I just still don't like the pick because they, they risk themselves dying super quick and like, especially we, we just known for survivability. But if he's just knocked off the stage, that's a big problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I definitely think that uh, a team as a whole needs to start figuring out what can we do against like Peach's uh, aerials because like, oh, the sick got the save! Oh, that was almost really good. Yeah. Uh, I feel that. Uh, like they're really struggling to find an answer to fair because like they just keep getting fair too. It's just what, like, what do they do? Exactly. Yeah. 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 And I think I mean that whole team synergy thing we've been we've been harping on this entire this entire set. I think that already kind of going back already in uh, Bonfire they, they they have it a little more, but I feel like maybe it's not their team synergy that's better. It's just the fact that they're just better like individual players in my opinion. Okay, Which is no knock like, against Kron Kaiju because they've been, they've been playing really well this entire set. Like, they can't just seem to get that like final kill, like just end the set and all that stuff. 
I don't really know what else to add. Uh, I feel that, like, again, they like, just don't know what to do about, like, Artie. Like, like, we both get these straight hits, but they don't lead to anything. Like, exactly. Like, Sheik is at 108, and, like, she's still alive. She's at 74, and then Ganon, like, dies because, like, Sheik is ridiculous. That, that was bad on Bonfire's part. Yeah. She was, like, I, I don't think that's ever well done. Like, if you're, like, in teams, you should never go for a trade that kills your partner, because, like, even if you get it, you're still neutralizing what you get by killing your partner. So I feel like you should just, like, do, even if it involves, like, losing out on the punish, it's, be it's better to lose out on the punish and just, like, have the, like, fun of grab release, uh, instead of just, like, getting anything and killing your partner off, off of it as well. I never usually agree with those, like, suicide, uh, like, or not suicide, but those, like, up smashes where you kill your partner if you're, like, boss. Yeah, yeah. I never really like those. I feel like those are too sloppy. Yeah. Um, now they're, like, they're just struggling. Like, like, what do they do? Exactly, yeah. And, like, it doesn't look good. Yeah, this is kind of, it's, like, especially now it's kind of a blowout. Yeah, but it's kind of looking like a wrap at this yeah. point. Uh, I don't mean to sound pro catch. No, of course not, but it's... I honestly think, like, if one of them switched to Fox, or, like, if, like, if Pro switched to Fox, this would be a lot closer. Yeah. Because, like, Fox can neutralize a lot of the things Leech has, because Fox has an answer to, like, Flo can't say fair. Like, what is Luigi at? Yeah, like, he has, like, what? Wave dash back to wave dash in the forward air? Like, like does the forward air, Peach can just, like, float back, and Luigi has such a terrible air mode. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's not impossible, but it's not likely. Yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah. say Especially that, Luigi. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. 30! Yeah, like like I was saying earlier, like, Peach is almost always on stage, and then he would use a float cancel aerial, and then, like, Bonfire will almost always go to the ledge, and just yeah. use the back air. That was, like, the second